My name is Mark Pylock and I'm the owner here at the American Muscle Car Museum in Melbourne, Florida. It's another beautiful, hot, humid day here in Florida, but what we have out here today is a very special vehicle. This is a 1959 Ford station wagon, and you may say, well, how does this fit into the American Muscle Car Museum? Now, I know a lot of people will find 55 to 57 Chevys. The tri fis are very common that you'll find. You'll find a lot of Corvettes from the 50s. But how many beautiful 1959 Ford station wagons do you find? This has been recently frame off restored by Jerry Miller from Springdale, Arkansas. Several of Jerry Miller's restorations within the American Muscle Car Museum. Uh, last count, there's about eight vehicles in total that he's done beautiful frame-off national award-winning restorations on these vehicles. So where does this vehicle fit in? Well, in 1959, as a kid growing up in a Ford family, uh, we were a Ford family of five kids. We had a dog, a cat, five kids, and a mom and a dad. Well, that being said, we needed a people mover. And in 1959, my folks went out and bought a brand new Ford station wagon, just like you see right here. The only difference is, is we actually bought a four-door. A two-door configuration was extremely rare. They only made 8,662 two-door Ford station wagons in 1959. This vehicle is in a stunning original color combination. The lighter green, as you see, is known as April green. The darker green on the bottom, as well as the green on the top, is called Sherwood green. Uh, this vehicle also is extremely rare. This vehicle is ordered with factory air conditioning and factory tinted glass. Very rare options for 1959. Uh, we didn't have the luxury of having factory AC. Uh, we had what was known as manual AC, where you just cranked the windows down. We actually had a, another use for this vehicle. And this is a use that I know a lot of the people that follow us here at the American Muscle Car Museum will relate to. This was our number one fishing vehicle. And you may say, what do you mean by your number one fishing vehicle? Well, I have the back end open right now. And we used to have a small nine-foot pram fishing boat. And that pram fishing boat would actually fit right between the rear area right here, right between the tail lights. You could fold down that second seat and you could actually slide your pram fishing boat all the way in. Right next to the fishing boat, of course it had no motor, it was known as manual power with oars. We'd take our two oars, slide them right in on the side. And then we actually had some old foam cushions from old living room furniture that we would actually wedge in on each side and then basically just tie a little red flag to the handle at the end of the fishing boat. So this vehicle was our number one vehicle for fishing trips. Thank you very much for watching and I hope all of our fishing fans enjoy this vehicle.